Welcome to my channel Pixel Nomad, where you get to watch me draw and make bad jokes. I've been drawing for more than 20 years and still trying to um, find myself. I animate, I draw, I cry. Last part having very little to do with my career choice. To get into my drawing process, I must first explain that a hundred ideas and variations fly through God's mistake that is my mind. Here are just a few of my drawings that I'm sure won't put me on the FBI watch list. For this drawing, my goal is to knock it out without focusing on unnecessary details. I start off with an idea and get the rough shape down. Then, as you see, I create a new layer to add a bit more detail. My inspiration was of an office worker who's kind of melded into a seat. Give him patches of hair, bony fingers, and a shirt too small. This is an exemplary work from home example. Put a drawing tablet in front of him and it might just be me. The drawing changes over time as detail gets laid on, adding weighted strokes adds a bit of character too. I like the idea that legs are just so underused and his body is misshapen from never getting up from his computer. His diet probably consists of nothing but cheese and whatever's lying around. Kind of reminds me of a sleep paralysis demon that's really just a bunch of clothes you threw in the chair. But instead of threatening your life as you lay there unable to move, he just does your taxes. As I get closer to finishing the line work, I think about the colors I want to use. I chose a sickly skin tone like he's super eye deficient. Hair like carrot top if he was born in Chernobyl. And yes, the carpet does match the drapes. I'm finishing off the basic coloring for this, and I think I need to add a bit more gross factor in it. I'll add an unhealthy dose of purple to certain spots, add a bit of shadowing, and then the veins, my personal favorite. After some adjustments and some blending, he's done. I'll be uploading videos regularly, so be sure to subscribe. Trust me when I say, these drawings will get weirder. Until next time, thanks for watching.